Hello and welcome to another video. Right, before I get into the um, cobblestone generator itself, I want to really quickly talk about the uh, video that I watched that I, you know, that I based this machine off. Um, so I'm just going to use screen capture, it's going to be easier for me to switch between them. But yeah, this video by JC Plays, uh, I based this off his. Uh, because you know I built his because I needed a uh, stone generator because I'm going to be using a lot of stone bricks in one of my builds so just like uh, might as well quickly find a decent stone generator and I found that you know this one and uh, uh, this is my main this is the problem that I had right here is I used this as a redstone clock uh, now if I hop over to minecraft real quickly uh, I basically recreated it here so if I get rid of those two bits of stone, you can see that it the it's so fast that the piston that uh, you know will keep going uh, and uh, do not give the stone time to generate, um, and uh, this hinders the rate of the uh, generator. So right now it's going to take one two three one two three one two three yeah about three seconds. Um, to generate a single piece of stone um and that's not to say that uh, the one he built is bad it was like it would if you want to use his it is these it would give you decent rates of stone um but let's just compare it over he to this over here now this is an observer uh, and you may recognize this from uh, the uh, concrete converter that i did um in a live stream, but um, a links a um, iCAD will probably pop up for the live stream, so there'll be a link in the uh, end of the video. Wherever, anyway. Um, so basically, uh, when this observer, you know, sees that there's been a block change there, sends out a redstone signal that will then power that piston, and then once that piston has extended, that redstone. Uh, and the, uh, the redstone line has ended, this redstone repeater will power that redstone repeater, locking it into the off position. And when the uh, red when the piston retracts, the observer will send out another signal, but it won't power that uh, repeater because it's being powered by that repeater. And then that uh, repeater will uh, depower, um, you know, basically making this work. So if I just smash that, oh, I didn't want to smash that glass block. Oops, the daisies. Uh, I should go down here. I've got a little hole. Boop. So you can watch it here. So it takes about one second, I think it is. One, two, three. Yeah, it takes about one second for a block of stone to be generated in this one. So it's about three times faster than that one. Um, but the problem with this is that if I just quickly demonstrate here. So now it's ended and if i break this stone it won't continue on generating because that block is not getting updated so it's not a very uh, it's not very good because what you'd have to do is you'd have to um for this to work probably an excuse the cluttered inventory but you'd have to power this piston without powering this redstone line because if you just power this redstone line that's going to break it. So you have to power the piston without uh, powering this line, which is possible uh, in his design. You just need to replace the closest block to the player with a, uh, like, you just, just have to replace a bl that block there with a slab. Um, because slabs, uh, and then when the redstone line uh, to the top bit because slabs will let redstone go up them but not down them which is which would make this work but um it would be kind of difficult if you wanted to do a um just like an auto clicker to generate stone for you and that, ignore that there that's just a failed um attempt to me just like trying to make a stone generator on my own uh, so what I did here 
is, let me just clear my hot bag because that's annoying me. Uh, is so I be, uh, you can see here still got the like uh, th what this basically is is like four waterlogged pistons here and then a lava source there that generates the stone and he and in the original video he put he had a hole there but after doing some testing I don't think that's really something you need um, and what I've got is an observer here pointing at that block and then a redstone dust on top of it then three four pistons uh four not pistons four repeaters on the uh, four ticks delay and then one uh, redstone repeater on uh you know uh one tick delay i believe it is because that's one two three four yeah on one tick delay um and uh, uh this uh really does work quite well so if i just go into survival real quick um also am i did i yeah my mic's not me i've had problems in the past with me forgetting to unmute my mic but you can mine it up and then there'll be a bit of delay and you can see on the right hand side there uh almost as soon as the stone is generated is getting pushed along um now that can that there, there can be a bit of a delay uh between the stone getting generated and the piston pushing it because there, there is a little bit of a variable because I don't know why exactly why the why it varies a little bit in time of when the stone gets generated, but basically sometimes uh, it's a little bit more of a delay, but usually it's pretty good. And uh, you, this is you know pushing the the stone is getting generated in like just over one second, so this is almost three times faster. Uh, still pretty slow because of how the mechanics work and everything. Um, and just in case you're wondering, does this one repeater here make that much of a difference? Let me just replace that repeater with a redstone dust real quickly. And this is really odd, and I do not know why this happens, but this just does happen sometimes. But if you keep an eye on the right hand side there. Any minute now. Yeah, sometimes the lava just goes down. For, and then it's get turned some, it still gets turned into stone but then because you know that was the piston pushing forward to replace the lava with water to for it to get then get turned into stone you're still just it doesn't get pushed over so yeah i do not know why that happens but it just does um But just adding uh, that repeater there fixes that problem for some reason. Um, and again, I do not know exactly why that happens. It just does. Um, and if you really wanted, you could lower this down by one block and have the chest in the... Chest in the well, actually, you couldn't because then you'd have to... Because then you'd be looking at the observer. Uh, anyway, so, yeah... Uh, it's slightly more compact because um, all the redstone is now on top of it instead of having an area here for it because they originally did, he had an area there for the uh, for this redstone clock where all the now the entire all the time is done on top. So while it is one block taller technically because you have the uh, repeaters there. And the redstone dust um, is like uh, one, two, three. There was like three blocks here, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, like two blocks there. But then you need, I think, yeah, I think it was three because you need an extra block there. Uh, because if this is too close, like, because um, if this is too close, it will not work. As you can see there, so he needed an extra block there um, to make it work. So there was like an extra block here, and then he had the, the um, like comparator 
like flock here, I think it was. Anyway, you can double check in the video um, if you're really that bothered about how much how many blocks this saves uh, in that direction. But yeah, uh, shaves also shaves off a couple blocks over here. Um, so yeah, um, this is probably the quick, quickest simple stone farm we can get. Like you could probably like uh, get like a double stone generator that generates stone even faster um but if you're just going for a simple stone generator i think this is probably the best you're gonna get like honestly the uh, base design was pretty good it was just my only real problem was the redstone clock just being way too quick uh to efficiently generate stone in a timely manner um So yeah, um, and this is pretty compact, like if you wanted to get a double stone generator that would be even quicker than, uh, yeah that's a bit of a chunk, that's a bit of a chunk because uh, I've built uh, a couple of them on stream for a moss farm and yeah they are a uh, bit bulky to say the least, um, like they, they're like triple the size of this. Um, and even more lava. But yeah, hope you guys all did enjoy this video and found it informative. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. You know, there's uh, links in the description. The first link is to the channel Discord where you can. Uh, get updates on like when I'm going live or uploading a video or if I'm you know ill I'll be just like hey everyone there might not be a live stream today because I've got a sore throat or I'm sneezing a or you know what whatever uh, if like anything's preventing me from streaming that day um, or uploading a video and I'll see you guys uh, oh yeah, and then the second Discord link in the description is uh, to uh, the Realm Discord if you want to join the community realm I'm uh, currently hosting. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream or whatever. Bye-bye.